I'm going to be answering a question I received in my comment section. The question is, how can I sort files by last modified date and delete files over the next days? So this code will be um, added to GitHub, so you can, um, you know, kind of check it out there and work it through your pace. And I'll just go through it very quickly um, so that we can make this video as short as possible. So the first thing, two things that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my OS library and daytime library. Um, these come standard with Python, so there's nothing special to install. Uh, the next thing is I'm going to set three variables, my current path using the get working directory function from the OS library. I'm going to list the content and save it to a files uh, variable. And then after that, I'm going to also um, get today's timestamp. Then I'm going to define my own file. And in that file, I'm going to pass three variables that I generated right above. I'm also going to create a dictionary variable in order to hold some contents or store some contents later. Uh, after that, I'm going to iterate through each of the files and create a fully qualified path by joining both the current directory and the file name. Uh, once I have those fully qualified paths, I'm going to, in order to get the created uh, timestamp of the file, I'm going to extract some data from using the stat function, and in particular, the uh, st birth time property. Once I have that property value, I'm converting that to a timestamp. I'm also going to do a similar thing for the modified date of the file, but instead I'm going to use OS os.path.getMTime from the fully qualified path of the file and then convert that to a timestamp as well. Those two uh, values as timestamps will allow me to then take the difference between today's date or today's timestamp minus the date it was created and of course minus the date it was modified and uh, compute the number of days in age right? that I'm storing in this variable. Uh, keep in mind that the uh, total seconds will be taken from that and then um, we'll go ahead and divide it by a multiplier, depending on what we want to get. In this case, we want days, so we'll use 60 seconds times 60 minutes in an hour times 24 hours in a day in order to get the number of days. If you want something different, you'd have to do the math there. Uh, after that, uh, I'm going to take each of these values and just store it in my dictionary uh, that I noted earlier and kind of capture all the values here in case I want to use them for one thing or another later. Now, do note that I did uh, save my uh, created timestamp into a string value just because it presents a little cleaner, but you don't necessarily have to do that if you don't want to. All right, so um, my function will then return this dictionary, and then uh, we'll do two things. We'll kind of iterate, uh, excuse me, view like the listing or the dictionary function just to kind of see what we have. Then we'll apply the sorted function, and we'll talk about uh, the key using a lambda function in order to base it sorting off of and then we'll look at some values and then talk about like how we would delete the uh, the files that are at, like that are older than a certain age so let's run this first okay so um, let's take a look at the variable excuse me not the variable but the dictionary that was a result of our information and I'm just going to paste it here uh, for our convenience kind of take a look at that so if you notice here, um, you know, the key of the dictionary is going to be the file, the short file name. And then, uh, you know, true to our logic, we have this list as our value. And in that list, we're capturing the fully qualified path, the file name, a uh, fully qualified path or file, the file name, the created timestamp, the uh, modified timestamp, and the date difference between uh, today's date and then the, uh, the created timestamp date and the difference in days between today's date and the modified timestamp date. And we do that for all the files. Now we do see that we have some newer files, which is uh, this file is up today, and this is like almost a year old. And as you can see here from the actual date versus today's date. So these values are computed, they're correct, they're in line, and they're for us, uh, here for us to use. Now what we want to do though, is actually we want to sort the contents based on the last modified date. Uh, which is this one and since uh, it's easier to sort based on like a numeric value That's why we computed like the number of days. So we'll we'll be sorting based on this uh, This value in the list now. I want to take a moment to pause and count the number of variables in the list uh, or Yeah um, Items in the list and so that we have one two three four five six But do remember that Python does start counting at zero so if we're looking at the index, it's uh, attribute one, excuse me, attribute zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this fifth element is what we want to be sorting by. So let's go back to our code. Now, if I get like the rest, the, uh, excuse me, now if I want to sort, what I'm going to apply to my dir listing in, um, 
dictionary is the sorted function. So I'm going to say sorted, their listing, and then items, right? And it's going to get the items from the dictionary. And now I'm going to say sort the items list by, uh, by this key that I'm going to specify. And in order to specify the key, and which is that fifth value, which is the day since modified right here, I'm going to say from the dictionary, go into the value, which is the the you know the, the second item in the dictionary represented by the, the first index item, right? Uh, or index one of the dictionary, and then get the fifth value. So essentially, if I go back to my dictionary, this, if I'm looking at my dictionary, is item zero, right? The key is zero, and then uh, the value is item one. So you got zero, one. So we're going to access the one, right? Right here. And that's what we're doing here. And we're going to access the uh, element number five. So element number zero, one, two, three, four, five. And that element number five is what we're going to base our sort on. That is our sorting key. So again, when we run uh, this code, I'm actually going to print the sorted dictionary here at the bottom. And then we will place the contents and take a look at the sorted dictionary. And as you can see here, now we start with a zero. That's looking good. Zero, zero. This UDF was actually created 343 days ago, but you know, modified a little earlier today. So zero. So everything is in line. It's sorting by the fifth element in that list, right? So our, our sorting is working as expected. Now, uh, the, the next thing that I did here, uh, just to kind of um, you know answer like the, the one question or one of two questions uh, from the comment was, hey, how do I you know get the sorted order? Well, here you are. You have access to all five elements here. So go ahead and print whatever you want. Here I'm just printing the file name, the short file name, and then like the days since it was modified. So easy peasy, just you know for your information. But you can manipulate that however you want. Now, if you wanted to do something like I want to delete these files uh, that are greater than um, that have been modified more than like say 250 days ago, uh, you can write a simple conditional statement. Say if uh, v5, right? My my fifth element is um, you know greater than 250. Then os dot remove and um, you can actually just pass the uh, the zero index item from your list, which in this case happens to be the fully qualified file path, right? Um, which is this this whole path. This is what you would be passing, and then you would be specifying like which file to delete. But I don't want to delete it, you know, for this example. Uh, so I'm just going to print a statement. I mean, you, you get the concept, right? And we'll say delete file. And then otherwise, else, we'll keep file. So we run that. And we'd see if, if we had like this code in place, the file would be deleted. So, um, but if we just kind of look at the output of it, um, you know, this is has is of zero days, so it's like not greater than 250 days. So we'd keep this file again, zero days, zero days, zero days. We're all keeping all these files. 239 days. We're still keeping this file since it's uh, younger than 250 days. Uh, but this file is greater than 250 days old. So let's go ahead and delete the file. And really, just anything over that, right? As you can see here in the output. So, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you find it useful and get to apply. Uh, some or all this logic sometime. Thank you very much for watching.